Hello everyone, and welcome to Lesson 11 of Objective-C on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to use fast enumeration in Objective-C. So, for those of you who are coming from another language, or most other languages anyway, um, you probably have heard of for each loops, and that's basically what uh, fast enumeration is in Objective-C, and oftentimes it's, re it's referred to uh, fat or for each loop. So basically, yeah, that's um, what it is in Objective-C. Fast enumeration is basically your for each equivalent. So for all of you who are new, which I'm supposing most of you are, um, a fa basically fast enumeration is just going through a collection, such as an NS array or an NS dictionary, but most of the time, I'd say the general majority of the time, it works better with NS arrays, um, and you'll see why. But um, NS arrays are usually why you would work with uh, fast enumeration. And what it does is basically goes through the entire array, or uh, it it's just kind of runs. So, for example, if I want to take out strings from my array, I have a, a NS array of strings, and I just want to print them all out to um, the NS log, then this is a perfect reason to use a for each loop or fast enumeration because what it does is it just takes the elements from the array as it goes through it chugging along and it will just keep printing out every value that it hits so it's pretty much what fast enumeration does um, so it's much faster than a normal for loop however you cannot uh, do a few things with it uh, there are no indexes so you can't say at index blank I want to you know change the object or do whatever to it. I can't. I can't do anything like that. What I have to end up doing is um, I have to do that in a for loop if I want to do that. So indexes just don't happen in fast enumeration. And again, you'll see that in a second. But if you want, if you need indexes or you need to change elements in your um, in your array, more than likely you are going to want to use a for loop. And if you just want to go through the array. Not really changing anything and you don't need indexes and you just want to take the information out of the NS array then fast enumeration is what you want to use. So let's get started here and we'll stop talking and start explaining. So let's go ahead and create an NS array. I'm just going to call this array and we're going to just create a temporary object and we're going to call this, or we already called it array, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, we're going to use a convenience method array with objects and we're just going to have a bunch of string objects here copy and paste and that's how we're going to finish it off and now we're just going to fill this array with some values here say yoda is my friend there we go so we have an ns array which contains yoda is my friend and ta-da we have an array so now we're going to go through this NS array and we're going to take string values out and print them to our NS log or using NS log. So uh, we use for for the um, word that or the whatever the word that we're going to use to open up our fast numeration or our for each loop. So we start with for bracket and this is where it starts to change. So since we're using uh, strings in our object here, or our array, sorry, we're going to use NS string, and I'm just going to give it a variable called string, and then I'm going to say in, and this is where you say uh, what your collection is. So uh, in our case, we're using array. That's the name of our collection right here. So what does this all mean? Well, we are basically creating a string object and that string object is going through array and it will just cycle through the entire array so it'll start at the first thing the array has string will apply itself to the first element in that array which in our case here is Yoda and string now has that value of Yoda so now when we print that out um, it will print out Yoda in the console then it'll go back and now it'll go to the next thing in the array which is is and then string now has the value of is and it will do it again it'll print out that value which is is so let's do an ns log 
and we're going to print out a string. So we use percent at for our format specifier. And now we just say string to print out the string. So let's go ahead, build and run this. And we have no errors, which is always great. Now let's go to our console. And as you can see, Yoda is my friend. And that's how that works. So it's fairly simple. Uh, the syntax isn't that hard. You just create um, a, the type that you need to use. And in our case, it's an NS string. And it's for every element in our array. And it will just basically string will just get every element that it ever reaches in array. So now let's try this with something else. We're going to try this with an NS dictionary. And we'll just call it dict. And um, now we just want to create a temporary dictionary object. So dictionary width. And we want objects and keys. And now what we want to do, I did not want to do that. Okay, now we're going to just create um, two objects and keys here. So uh, our first object is going to be uh, flies around, and that's going to be a bird for our key. So um, again, NS Dictionary I covered in a previous tutorial. If you're just watching this and haven't watched previous tutorials, uh, the whole series, uh, definitely watch if you haven't. So flies around is a bird, and we'll say uh, something else, house pet, I think was my one before and uh, I applied that to a dog. So now, um, now we're just going to, uh, I'm just going to make this capital because I like capitals. Now we're going to finish off this uh, dictionary with the value of nil, of course, and now we've just created our dictionary object. So now we can go through our fast enumeration for our NS dictionary, and it works pretty much the same way. Since we're dealing with um, strings and our keys are always strings um, then we can use in a string and we're just going to call this key and then in dict and that's what this all all this means here is that our ns string of key is going to go through our dictionary it's going to go through all the keys that are in our dictionary and then it will print out their um, corresponding values uh, that we're looking for if that's what we choose to do so um, now we're not another four. I don't know why I said that. Now we're going to do an NS log, and we're going to print out two different things. We're going to do the key percent at, and then we're also going to print out the object. This is just another way to show you how you can use this. And so to print out the key, all we have to say is key, of course. And then our second part is just dict. Um, and then we just say object for key, key. And that's all we have to do. So now what we're doing here is we're setting up our for each loop or fast enumeration. And we're setting an NS string of key. And it's going to go through our dictionary, taking all the key values that it reaches. And now it's just going to print those values out. So it has the value of key. It will print that here. And then our next parameter, or next uh, variable that it's going to use here, is our object for that key, and it will print that here. So let's go ahead, build and run this. And as you can see, when we open this up, we get key of dog, and the object is house pet. And then we get a key of bird, and the object is flies around. So as you can see, it went through the keys in its um, dictionary, and therefore, and as you can see, it prints out the objects uh, that pertain to it. So that's pretty much how fast enumeration works. You just set up your collection, which is usually an NS array or an NS dictionary, and then you just um, use the type that you want to uh, analyze in that set. And in our case here, we're always using a string, so we just say NS string, and we give it a variable name, and then we just say in keyword. And then we uh, define our collection, which in our case here is dict or array, which was previous. So that's pretty much how fast enumeration works, and uh, it's not very comp it's not that complicated, and it's of course very useful to use, faster than doing for loops. So it's definitely something to look into if you just want to analyze data within an array, but you don't need the indexes themselves. 
So this was fast enumeration, or for each loops, in Objective C. And one important thing to note with this is that it uh, was new as of Objective C 2.0, which it came after, or came in, I should say, Leopard. So if you're on Tiger, which is 10.4, um, if you're trying to run this in Tiger, it will not work. So um, this is a rather uh, a little newer um, syntax anyway. It's a little new to Objective C anyway. So um, yeah, if you're trying to run this at home under Tiger, um, then don't bother trying because it's not going to work. So uh, this is a rather newer uh, syntax here that we're learning. So anyway, this was fast enumeration on Objective C. If you enjoy these tutorials, please subscribe to the channel, and more tutorials are always in production. And if you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments or send me a message via YouTube. And I'd love to hear your suggestions on my channel page as well. So again, please subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.